specs and all of us. Okay, 76, 67, blah, blah, blah. Whoa, what was that one? 67? Yeah, let's give them 500. Okay, next turn. And just chill. Well, we got th four turns. All right. I'll be able to uh, sleep better once uh, the game is finished. <laughs> and then I will work after I wake up. I'll work on uploading everything um, after that. And then maybe take a day off or jump right back into a game. I always think I'm not going to play again, but... I end up playing another one usually. Hmm. What's the victory progress like on that? I know they're building some parts and eh, not too many. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Messing with our paratroopers, boy. I'm gonna let him kill one. <laughs> Alright. You can fire on a submarine. <laughs> Which we happen to have one of those as well. Attacking on our city with a sub. Okay. <laughs> like one one place I built walls. Mm. Uh, go ahead and build wealth. And I just told you to go wealth. Mm. Two turns. Whoa, 158. We want to give them some money. 178. Where's the 158? Alright. Mm. Are they the lowest? 183 All right, 183 give you 500 and Almada I think was yeah 178 give you 500 adopt the policy which <laughs> we finally uh, closed out patronage right on the last uh, turn before the vote uh, privateer, go to sleep. <laughs> now, if we really wanted to get kind of sick about it, we could go and sell off a bunch of our buildings and all of our military and use all the gold and, you know, give it to the allies just in case. But I don't think it's necessary. And as I say that, you know, coups happen all over the place. <laughs> I don't think I don't know if they can coup while I'm at war or not. I think I have seen that, where I was in <coughs> a war with someone and they ended up cooing the uh, ally. I don't think they did. Now that I think about it, I think somebody else cooed, and then they cooed right after, and it switched the um, allies. However, I had liberated them, so it was like guaranteed. Uh, Guaranteed victory. So, uh, <laughs> I don't know who to vote for. <laughs> I guess I vote for Hiawatha. Uh, nah, you know, he backstabbed our ass, so I'm building, I'm building for him. So, there it is again. Another diplomatic victory back to back. Uh, however, I think if I wanted to really push it, I could have got militaristic. Uh, but. It's just, it would take too long. And then technological, obviously, um, I think we could have gotten that because we had the tech lead and I think we had plenty of production in our capital to be able to achieve that. So I had a good time with this game because I really, I thought I was in jeopardy uh, of losing. But um, when you have... Um, so much water and the the what is this tiny island maps 
or island map, something of that nature. Um, it just seems like the AI can't handle anything, so. So let's see what happened here on the map. Excuse me. <coughs> Everybody else expanding. <laughs> nice three cities. We're sitting there with our one little city. And, uh, you know, I think a nice key to the game was to keep England and Istanbul uh, at war with each other throughout the whole game. And neither one could uh, conquer uh, each other's city. Um, Korea, if they rushed us, uh, possibly could have hurt us early in the game because, you know, I was sitting there uh, with uh, no offense or defensive units or buildings <laughs> of uh, any sort. Um, uh, I guess that's about it, really. Uh, Hiawatha wasn't even really part of the game he's kind of just off on his own so but uh you know you go random random i went random civ random map and all random ai's so i guess uh to make this game harder uh if you took you know the vikings and carthage and anybody else who has you know, england who has water um bonuses then you know you've got um, more of a game on your hand I, I just always seem to go random civilizations um, battling so you can see that I had oh what about 60 percent you think four seven two four six eight ten eleven uh, yeah sixty to seventy percent of the map and um, you would think that militaristic, well, if we would have just messed around, just taken the capitals, uh, we may have been able to end it by um, around this turn. So anyway, that's going to do it. I hope you enjoyed this, what was it, like 10, 11 hour less play, <laughs> if you actually watched the whole thing. And hope you learned something, or if you didn't, that you were at least... Uh, entertain. So until next time, have a good evening or a good morning. Bye-bye.